Hello guys, welcome into the Arduino tutorials and projects from absolute beginner to advanced developer tutorial series. In this tutorial series, I am going to present you all the theoretical knowledge and practical skills which are necessary to become an Arduino expert. Okay, so this is the first tutorial of the tutorial series and it is a getting familiar with the Arduino environment tutorial. Okay, so before we start to the tutorial, let me introduce what you are going to learn through this tutorial series. In this tutorial series, first of all, you will build up high level knowledge and skills on Arduino basics. In the Arduino basics section, I will provide you conceptual knowledge about such as Arduino terminologies, programming Arduino, Arduino board descriptions, Arduino interfacing with various kinds of sensors etc okay so in the next section in the second section you will boost up your knowledge and skills for arduino programming using c programming language okay you will learn all the necessary programming concepts which are applicable to arduino development in the third section of this tutorial series you will learn various types of sensors which you can interface with arduino and develop a real world projects. In the last section, you will develop various kinds of projects with real components using Arduino, which will boost up your knowledge and skills to the export level. <coughs> okay, so this tutorial series aims to provide high level knowledge and skills on programming Arduino. And you will learn how you can interface Arduino with various sensors. Also, this tutorial series aims to provide building different useful electronics projects using Arduino. This tutorial series consists of both the theoretical knowledge as well as practical implementation of the various projects with the step-by-step -step guide. Okay, so at the end of the tutorial series, you will be able to easily answer various necessary conceptual knowledge of embedded systems design. So embedded system design means hardware part as well as software part. And for this particular series, we will use Arduino board. So at the end of the tutorial series, you will able to solve various project problems on your own. I assure you that you do not need to search on different sites to fulfill your desire on learn, to learn Arduino. You will be able to build projects and start a career as an Arduino developer. So that is my goal. As I already mentioned, this tutorial series is loaded with the various minor projects and major projects with real components. We will do the real experiments. Those projects you can put into your portfolio or CV that showcase your high level of understanding on the subject and that will help to you for finding your future job. You can start your career in the various freelance websites as a remote Arduino problem solver. You can find the internship into the startup company or in big electronics company or embedded system related company. So I will guide you how you can uh, get the internship or the position. You can start your own startup business. Okay, whatever is your goal, be focused, be motivated, and let's start with the learning path. If you have any problem, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section. Also, please like and subscribe this channel. Also, do not forget to hit the bell icon. You will get the immediate notification as I upload the new tutorial. Okay. So before we going to start the tutorial, let me introduce about myself. I am Humnath Parajali. I hold a PhD degree in Electronics Engineering. I have worked in many different countries in Europe and Asia. Okay, so stay tuned with me for all the upcoming videos. I will provide you step by step guide how you can become successful in the electronics industry. If you have any questions, please comment on the comment section. Let's begin with the first tutorial. At the beginning, 
I will provide you some essential knowledge of the Arduino basics. In this particular tutorial, I would like to introduce you basic concepts. So at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to answer following questions. Okay. So first is what is Arduino? For what purpose it can be used? The second, what Arduino board consists of? What is the development board? What is IDE? How we can use it for programming a microcontroller? Which programming language can be used with Arduino IDE? Is Arduino microcontroller or microprocessor or neither? Name some of the Arduino boards. List the features of any of the Arduino board. What special functionalities separate Arduino with other microcontroller platforms? So all of these basic concept questions, you can easily be, you can answer all of these questions at the end of this tutorial. Okay, so let's uh, go with Arduino board. Arduino is an open source based electronic programmable board. That means electronic hardware board with programming capability, which became quite popular in the recent years. Since Arduino is a board with a microcontroller, it is not a single microcontroller. Okay, it is not a microcontroller, it is not the microprocessor. Arduino board basically consists of AVR microcontroller and some hardware interfaces in a single board so that it is very easy to use and easy to develop microcontroller based electronic projects. As you see in the figure, it is a board with various components. There is a power supply section, various interfacing sections. We will discuss about these parts and their use in the next upcoming lecture, uh, tutorials. It is a development board. That means it has all the functionalities for developing a project. For example, it consists of a microcontroller, power supply, program loader, and interfacing headers in the single board. A microcontroller along with other necessary functionalities to develop and debug the program is called development board. Okay, so development board ESS to develop the code and debug the code for any kinds of projects. It is minimum system of a bigger project. You can say like that. Okay, so microcontroller is used as a controller element which interacts with the outside world. The term controller means microcontroller takes the input, I mean microcontroller reads the input from the outside world through sensors, forces the input and provides the necessary output to the outside world. The microcontroller can be programmed by a special software tool called Integrated Development Environment IDE. The IDE to program Arduino based microcontroller is called Arduino IDE. It can be installed in the computer and use it for programming the microcontroller. Because of its easiness to use and its popularity, in the recent years Arduino IDE is widely used to program other types of microcontrollers such as ESP32 microcontroller, STM32 microcontrollers, STM8 also possible. The term Arduino refers to both hardware board and software. Software means Arduino IDE. Okay. So there are many boards available as an Arduino platform such as Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Due, etc. All of these boards have one thing in common that is microcontroller family. They use the same AVR microcontroller family. Most of them use 8 mega 328p microcontroller, but some of them use different microcontroller, such as Arduino Leonardo uses 8 mega 32u4 microcontroller with slightly different capabilities and features than the Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno has 8 mega 328p microcontroller, 16 megahertz operating frequency, USB interface, it includes USB interface. 5 volt power supply, 32 kilobyte of flash memory, 1 kilobyte of EEP ROM, 2 kilobyte of SRAM, and 14 pins digital input and outputs. So all of these features we will discuss 
all of these features in the next upcoming videos okay so just to introduce you some features of the board okay so other microcontroller platform require different hardware components to program the microcontroller but arduino does not require that it is already integrated into the arduino board for power supply and for loading the program from the computer we can simply use usb cable so we can also use barrel jack for the power supply arduino ide provides already defined programming routines for interfacing analog and digital electronic devices so that you do not need to write interfacing code for yourself you just can use already defined functions with your required parameters due to the easiness of ide arduino is very famous for new ways okay so arduino ide uses c programming language to code the program so basic of c programming language could be will be useful but not the mandatory requirement you will learn all the necessary coding skills as per the requirement of the project as we proceed with the tutorials you will learn it is easy to learn while doing the project itself okay so arduino board consists of easily connectable headers which is to connect to the other electrical components very easily Arduino board is basically development board which can be used by anybody with ES. Arduino is mainly used by used by students, hobbyists and startup companies also the big companies for prototyping purpose. So if it is so popular is it widely used in the industry? The answer is not so much. So why only with student hobbyists and startups? Why not in the wide scale industrial use? There are many reasons for that. I would like to mention you some of the reasons. The first is cost. Although Arduino design has been optimized to provide a very low cost board, still for commercial sale of the products, it could be costly. Companies need mass production of the product. Companies design the product based on the specific functionality requirements so that all functionalities of the Arduino board may not be required for the specific product. Okay, so capabilities of the Arduino that is the second reason. The microcontroller in the Arduino board is a 8 bit, that means it can be used for the very high speed processing, it cannot be used for the very high speed processing. The memory size could also be limited to some applications. Another reason is bulkiness. Since the Arduino is a board, it can be bulky to some tiny products such as hand watch. Depending on the specific requirements of the products, answer also could be it depends. Okay, so the AVR microcontroller is widely used in the industry, but not this uh, Arduino board. So it is mostly used for prototype development. Arduinos are intended for experimentation and learning, often, often with breadboards. Okay, so guys, this much for this lecture. In the next lecture, I will provide you Arduino board's functional description and how you can interface it with sensors. Also, I will introduce you Arduino IDE and how you can use Arduino IDE. You will become familiar with the board as well as Arduino IDE and able to start the programming. So stay tuned and do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment on the comment section. So see you guys on the next lecture.